Hello and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. Today we're with Mr. Richard Holden. Hello. Hello, and we are cooking a side dish. We are, we're doing some uh, smoked barbecue beans. Um, you might just put some beans in a saucepan, heat on the side burner and put them on the table, but there's nothing really original about that. So uh, we're gonna do a dish that I first came across about five, six years ago. Uh, a friend of mine in the States, Mr. Jim Johnson, introduced me to this dish. We're gonna do the vegetarian version. Um, the meaty version is what they call trash can beans. Yeah. And the idea is that any leftovers that you have, be it pulled pork, brisket, any beef burger, anything like that, you break it up into pieces and you mix it in with this so that when you heat it, the beans stop the meat from drying out and it also the trash can element comes into it because it stops all those leftovers going into the bin so really simple um, some store cupboard ingredients and some salad drawer ingredients as well got three tins of beans we've got some generals um, the general um, barbecue rub from angus and oink and we've got some french's american mustard i've got a couple of peaches uh california kind of big fruit growing area so we've got some natural sweetness there and i've got some peppers as well so while I just chop this last pepper and the pe and the peaches, do you want to yeah, can enter do. the tins yep. of beans into the tray for me? <clears throat> so I did this dish. Um, this is a little bit, well, it is quite an American dish, really. Um, it's uh, it's a nice. We're going to smoke it with some pecan wood chips. So it's uh, it's kind of a little bit Wild West meets um, kind of your barbecue backyard. Uh, with the smoke and it's like I say it's just one of those dishes that people don't really expect and uh, I did it on a, on a birthday I did it at a birthday party a few weeks ago and uh, absolutely went down a storm served it as a side dish did a typical western style um, it, was a, it was a western style birthday and we had brisket we had jacket potato and these beans and corn on the cob and cornbread and everything like that and people look at you beans smoked <laughs> on the barbecue what's that all about but when they taste them it's more when you do the American style where they say leftovers. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just I'm just chopping these uh, just chopping these peppers down. Um, these are going to this is going to cook. We're going to cook this on the barbecue over an indirect heat. Um, so they are going to come up to temperature. And as I before I forget about this, if you were putting um, if you were putting leftovers in here, you would want to make sure that they were thoroughly reheated losing some peach there, thoroughly reheated, and you would make sure that you use your temperature probe to make sure that that leftover food is reheated to 75 degrees C um, so that it's all nice and safe. Um, if you take the, the seasoning, yep. what you're gonna do with the seasoning is just put a, from a height, or a relative height, you're gonna sprinkle from one end to the other, put a nice liberal dose on there. So this is one of the, uh, this is a typical American rub. It's got your paprika, um, it's got some celery salt, onion salt, a little bit of sugar, some salt. Um, typical American barbecue spices. So if you don't have peaches, you can use nectarines. You can also use plums if you want to do as well. So these are gonna clear go. them away. Let's just bring that in a little bit. These go in. It makes three tins of beans go a long, long way. Um, this, I would say, would be enough for around about 20 people as a side dish, maybe right. even more. Um, as you can see, this is gonna be carefully measured. <laughs> so we just make that look about right so that we know that we've got enough to mix through. And then just take a large spoon and mix that all together. Now, depending on which seasoning you've got, if you've got one that's a little bit spicier, you can make it spicy, you could, you could add some chili flakes to this if you wanted to, if your barbecue seasoning needed a bit of a punch to it, or if you've got a nice punchy seasoning, then you can uh, moderate that as you wish. But the mustard just gives it a little bit of sweetness uh, with the peppers and the, uh, and the peach. That gets all mixed together. This could be made in the morning, yeah. um, popped into the fridge, just covered over, and, uh, and then when you're ready, it just goes on the barbecue and cooks up. So, nice colourful dish, nice little colourful side dish. That is ready to go on our barbecue. So Richard, we're going to take it over to our barbecue. We are. We're, we're going to use the master touch for this one. You can do this on any gas, charcoal or whatever kind of barbecue you've got, as long as you've got a lid. Um, so we've got this set up for indirect. Yep. So fuel in the left, fuel in the right, large area down the centre where we have nothing. So this is our oven roasting setup. So our tray goes in the centre. Now I'm gonna grab the barbecue tongs. If you wanna bring that yep. little container of um, wood chips over. So just lifting the hinge cooking grates up, 
and if you take a handful, let the water drain off and then pop those straight onto the coals. You can go as intense or as light as you like with your wood chips. Um, liquid, this is a dish for beautifully illustrating that liquids do smoke as well. So because we've got only the surface area, the top surface that's going to take on the smoke, we can really go to town with some smoky flavour on this. Because what will happen is the top will get a really nice dark yep. coloration on there. We'll just pop these hinge cooking grates back down again. So we'll get a nice coloration on there. And then once that's had about half an hour and it's nice and toasty warm, we'll stir that through and we'll get that smoky flavour all the way through those beans. We should mention that um, you can cook these dishes on uh, any of the barbecues. One thing to note when using wood chips with a gas barbecue, use a smoker box and you have to wait about 15 yeah. minutes for the white smoke to yeah. start coming out of the barbecue before you start cooking. As you can see from doing it on charcoal, it's about 15 seconds. So and the vents are fully open, yeah. top and bottom. Airflow goes through from the bottom all the way through to the top and that will regulate perfectly. So how long are we leaving this for? About half an hour at 200 degrees. Um, we want those beans to be nice and bubbling. We want them to be thoroughly hot all the way through and we want the peppers to be slightly softened um, and the peach is just falling as well so that everything's got a nice texture to it. And as I say, if we had meat leftovers in there, we'd be use a temperature probe, the digital temperature probe, just to make sure that they were 75 degrees and thoroughly cooked all the way through. But half an hour, good to go. All right, we'll see you back in about half an hour. Well, we're back, baked beans. That's about half an hour. Bubbling away nicely. Oh, wow. So we'll take these off. Put those on there, thank you very much. Okay. And what you can see here, I'm not sure if you want to come in and get a close up on this, but um, if I just stir that through, you can see the difference in colour between what was on top and what's underneath. So that smoke has really got in. We can smell it, can't we? Yeah, you can. Smell the peaches as well. Yeah, you can. Really beautiful. Right, so nice colourful side dish. Grab a spoon. I'm just going to close the lid on the barbecue. <clears throat> I'll let you have a taste first while. Uh, oh, excuse me. It's spilling again. It's a theme today. It's all good. Right, let's have a taste. So, peaches should be nice that and soft. really nice. And the peppers as well. Everything nice and hot. I'll have a taste. You can tell them how to okay. see other information as well. So, for, for this recipe, for this dish, um, visit our website, hazegardenworld.co.uk. Uh, we're also across all the social media platforms. Uh, also, for other recipes, visit our YouTube channel, Hayes Garden World, and uh, we'll see you next time.